it's it's really become endemic. There's really not a lot of seasonality to COVID. Dr. Steve Flindall is an emergency doctor in the GTA. He says he is seeing COVID-19 cases popping up in the ED at a concerning rate. I had noticed uh, several cases of my own patients and uh, we have what we call a discrepancy file where all of the abnormal tests that are significant go into and we had seen a real increase in the number of cases uh, being tested positive in our hospitals. Some of those cases were among those considered in the highest vulnerable group. All three of my cases were elderly people with significant comorbidities, making them at high risk for uh, complications and severe COVID. In fact, there have been many getting hit with what they believe might be a cold, but Dr. Flindall believes it's likely not the common sniffles. Many people that I see and I test for COVID, they don't even realize it's still around, which is a problem. The latest COVID-19 vaccination rates in the country is lagging. According to recent numbers from the Public Health Agency of Canada, less than 2 in 10 people have had the latest booster. Dr. Flindall is seeing those numbers reflected in those he recently had to treat. Unfortunately, none of them had been entirely up to date with their uh, vaccinations. And uh, two of the three, the two that needed admission hadn't had a vaccine in over two years. Aside from COVID, doctors are also keeping an eye on other common viruses that are creeping back up. And with schools about to vacate and parents planning family trips, doctors say now is probably a good time for kids to get up to date on all of their vaccinations as well. Europe has had a real explosion in measles over the last year. And almost all the cases we're seeing in Canada are related to travel. According to Public Health Ontario, immunization rates for seven-year-olds has dropped considerably over recent years. In 2019-2020, vaccination for measles and mumps and polio was roughly at 85%. In 2021-22, those numbers plummeted to 52%. A lot of uh, children uh, fell behind on their vaccination schedules during COVID and they, they're still not caught up. And being caught up with vaccinations this summer, especially when it comes to COVID-19, Dr. Flindall says we shouldn't leave it to chance. If you're elderly, you're on immunosuppressants, that sort of thing, uh, your, your dependence on previous vaccinations and previous infections is not reliable at all. Now, when it comes to keeping up to date with vaccinations, doctors are saying that the province has actually done an extremely poor job when it comes to public health messaging and are basically saying that more needs to be done in order to encourage people to roll up their sleeves. In downtown Toronto, Afia Boss, City News.